Hello and welcome to day number eight of this Rags to Regency challenge. My name is Wiles and we are here to explore the world that can be. Um, looking at our, our garden, unfortunately the strawberry bushes are now out of, out of season. But it looks like we are able to sell all of our lettuce. Can we go bigger? I, I don't know. I've never actually done the giant crops before. So I have no idea what's going on. If I can... If they grow... If they grow further than this. Looking at the... Uh, looking at the price though. I think it might be time to just uh, sell them and plant some new oversized crops. And here we are using our our wash room for the first time ever. Oh, things are looking up. Who are you, Toby Red? Hi, Toby. Um, let's give let's let's watch you for a second. Maybe. Where are you going? Why are you? Callum just became acquainted with Toby. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and um, sell all of our lettuce today. Oh, that was it, just 179? That was not worth it. Um, oh well. Uh, purchase some oversized crop seeds. So we did lettuce last time. We are now in the summer. So I feel like watermelon is the is the uh, the crop of the summer so we will do that we will water everything and then we may need to buy some new land for our farm as we have some tomatoes that need to go in so let's go ahead and plant some new off the grid. Maybe two more? How does that look? Extending our farming empire, if you will. Uh, we need to plant our tomatoes. This is our summer crops, which means we may need to do something else. Let's do what is aubergine? Aubergine. Is it like an eggplant? Is that the name of the eggplant? But they didn't want to say eggplant. We'll uh we'll plant that as well. Alright, so we are planting We're planting our garden, getting ready for summer harvest time and then we need to figure out other ways to make some money hey hey you come back here that was my tomato oh I got nicked by a look at him he's got my tomato in his mouth Toby! No. You. Toby. I don't know. I don't know how to. He ate it. clear my notification wall because it's full. I can't believe that. Well, we'll have to... It might be time to... <laughs> 
to wall off our garden to keep these uh, these foxes out. I can't. Ah, uh, Toby. All right. I mean, as 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 annoyed as I am with him, like he's still. Durf nala rinzi warbler speedle gat gat nala shoot. He's still a cutie. I mean, look, he's singing with us. Good job, Toby. <sighs> Doesn't make it any less sad. Oh, who are you? Oh, uh, Morgan. Oh, hey, Morgan. What's up? Let's, uh... You think that you're tough. I know you're not. So let's go and talk to you about, uh... How amazing the outdoors are. Isn't it great? So what I mean, foxes come and they steal your stuff. And apparently they get along just fine. See, she's a she's a she's an old softy. Well, a young softy. She pretends like she's tough. Uh, see, now we're good friends. Callum's a good guy. Morgan. Alright. Oh! See? Morgan's a good... a good person. Who are you? The pub owner? Hi. Um... I didn't know that you made house calls. What what are you doing? Hello. How are you? Uh, we'll have a Henford heart to heart. I want to hear my favorite Henford ghost story. It's the one about Mabel Watson. She was a local girl who used to ride her cute little bicycle around Old New Henford. It always had two fresh baskets of flowers, one on the front and one behind the seat. Mabel picked the flowers herself every morning down by the river Bagley. Well, one morning, she got up early before sunrise to go pick flowers like she did every other day. But on this day, she never came home and nobody ever saw her ever again. Some say she ran away, but others swear that if you look out over Old Mill Lane in the early morning, you can see a bicycle with two flower baskets, one in the front and one in the back, riding itself along the dirt path heading back up Old Mill Hill, bringing the little Watson girl home. Ooh, that's a good story! Look at you, Sarah! That was, uh, that was a wonderful story. I really enjoyed that. Oh, we're researching the tomatoes now. Okay. Well, I mean, that's fair. I'm really sad because these uh, strawberry bushes are, like, ready to upgrade, but we can't upgrade them yet. I guess the next question... Hey, Toby. Oh, no, that's lava? Yeah, we need fences. The next question is... All right, let's open this up. Tomato. Tall and springly, tomato plants are like trees that forgot to grow bark. Okay. I mean, that's quasi-fair. Uh, the next question is, we have 177 simoleons. We probably need to get a little bit of... Um, fishing done, just so that we can... I'm, I'm loading up on the uh, cleaning real quick. Just so that we can continue to get our our cottage built, if you will. Um, and I think the next thing we're going to do... Uh, see, old time buildings, they were built in stages with the great room would be next. So the next one that we're going to do, we're going to leave this detached and we're going to build our great room. The question is, where do we build the great room? I am thinking the great room is probably going to be over here. Like you come in, here's our uh, here's our post box. So you come in, 
and we build up this little great room right here and then we're going to put the wings off of it so we'll put the kitchen on one side bedroom on the other and we're slowly going to build up to a proper cottage look now we need to get some food and we need to get some let's see is this spoiled yet it is spoiled okay uh, we need to get some food and we need to fish to try to make it. Uh, we could get... We're going to use one of our minnows that we were going to save for um, for bait. And we're going to use that to cook a fish on a stick. Because that's going to save us some money since we have uh, actual fish in our inventory. So we're going to do that. And then from there we're going to go fishing. And we are going to try to gain enough money to start building the great room it's been in our inventory for a while oh the fangs are i mean look at that that's actually really good looking i would eat that callum you might be a wonderful cook oh hi lily it's nice to see you nice to meet you yeah, you're, uh, you're funny. Let's eat this, and then we're going to go ahead and fish and try to gain enough money to build up our cottage. Always on the move. If you have a quest started, always on the move. I mean, technically we're on a... Well, I guess maybe we're not. Anyway, uh, fish with bait. We're going to fish with the minnow over here. And see if we can't get that cottage built. I I know theoretically that's oh, a big trout. Theoretically if we are to complete these tasks, these little um, quests up here we're going to get the we're gonna get money rewards for them and there's a part of me that kinda of wants to do that because I think I mean, it counts, right? Whoa, that's a big fish. What are you? You're a tuna? 69 simoleon tuna? It's a game mechanic, so I feel like it could count towards it. I'm still not sold, because, I mean, who would be paying this, right? Captain Fishbones. I think our goal is going to be 500 simoleons today so that we can try to build the first wall of that cottage. Four hundred. We just need one really good fish. Another tuna? Dude, that puts us at 500 we got our goal we're still fishing but we can probably go home now well wow look at our stats we are we're happy we could be here all afternoon and he doesn't seem to be getting tired but it's 11 o'clock at night which means it is time to end this episode Thank you so much for swinging by and checking in on Callum as he continues to build his house. And we will see you then. Bye.